and start us on our way, Lord, oh God. Let's just thank the Lord on today, Lord, oh God, for having us in our right state of mind. Let's thank him on today, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God. Let's just thank him, Lord, oh God. Let's just thank him on today for being a great God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're a great God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. You're a great God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God, for being a great God. We thank you, Lord, oh God. We thank you, Lord, oh God, for being a good God, Lord, oh God. We just thank you on today, Lord, oh God. Thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just thank you, Lord, oh God. May we go into prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, oh God, we thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord, oh God. We thank you for starting us on our way, Lord, oh God. We, th we thank you for waking us up in our right state of mind. We thank you for start, Lord, oh God. We thank you for allowing us to be here on today, Lord, oh God. We thank you for a roof over our head, Lord, oh God. Clothes on our back, Lord, oh God. Food on the table, Lord, oh God. We just thank you for making ways out of no way, Lord, oh God. Thank you for being our way maker, Lord, oh God. Our miracle worker, Lord, oh God. Thank you for being the light in the darkness, Lord, oh God. Thank you for everything that you do, how you keep breath in our body, Lord, oh God. We thank you for all the active use of our limbs, Lord, oh God. Lord, oh God, we even thank you right now, Lord, oh God, for everyone being here, Lord, oh God, on today, Lord, oh God. We thank you, Lord, oh God, for all the mothers on today, Lord, oh God. We just thank you, Lord, oh God, for everything that they do for us, Lord, oh God. We thank you for what even is going to go on in the service, Lord, oh God. We thank you for souls being saved, healed, delivered, and set free, Lord, oh God. We thank you for it all, Lord, oh God. We thank you, Lord, oh God, because we know that you're going to do something greater than the service on today, Lord, oh God. We thank you, Lord, oh God, because we know you are a great God, able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, Lord, oh God, that we ask or think, Lord, oh God. And on today, Lord, oh God, we're asking of you on today, Lord, oh God, that you will do a great work in this place, Lord, oh God, that you will heal somebody, Lord, oh God, that you will deliver somebody, baptize somebody, fill someone with the Holy Ghost, Lord, oh God, whatever it is, Lord, oh God. We want you to do it on today, Lord, oh God. All the prayer requests that your people might have before you on today, Lord, oh God. We'd ask that it'll be done, Lord, oh God. We thank you for everything that is going on, Lord, oh God, with your people, Lord, oh God. We pray that every problem that your people might have, Lord, oh God, that it'll be dealt with, Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray right now, Lord, oh God, that you will even bless, Lord, oh God, the speaker for today, Lord, oh God. Bless the words that come out of their mouth, Lord, oh God. Bless the word, Lord of God, that someone be touched by their word, Lord of God. Bless the singers on today, Lord of God. Anoint their voices. Anoint all those, all of us children, Lord of God. All of the youth on today, Lord of God. Bless even right now the musicians, Lord of God. Bless their hands and their feet, Lord of God. Bless whatever they need to play with, Lord of God. And we just pray that this service will go good on today, Lord of God. Like every service, Lord of God. Whatever it is, Lord, oh God, we want you to do it on today, Lord, oh God. We want a soul to be saved on today, Lord, oh God. We know nothing is impossible with you, Lord, oh God. So someone can be saved today. Someone can be filled with your Holy Ghost, Lord, oh God. Baptized, speaking in tongues, Lord, oh God. Whatever it is, Lord, oh God. We pray that it be done in your name, Lord, oh God. And Lord, oh God, we give your name all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In your name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A morning scripture will be coming from Romans 8, verses 1 to verse 13. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent in his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin 
condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carn carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against God for it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be so then that they are in the flesh cannot please God but ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you now if any man have not the spirit of Christ he is none of his and if Christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you therefore brethren we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body ye shall live thanks be to god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you lord god hallelujah praise the lord everybody hallelujah praise the lord everybody hallelujah thank you jesus we thank god hallelujah for one more sunday hallelujah thank you lord jesus can we lift our hands and just praise the lord hallelujah can we say something sweet unto the lord on this morning hallelujah tell him how good he is this morning hallelujah thank you jesus bless your name god hallelujah we come to bless the lord on this morning hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah we came to give god some praise on this morning hallelujah we thank god for our young people hallelujah that are going to lead us in worship this morning hallelujah thank you lord god hallelujah thank you jesus
you hallelujah hallelujah god is good on this morning hallelujah i thank god hallelujah for waking me up one more day hallelujah to give him praise hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah and i thank god for joy hallelujah and that i can trade all of my sorrows my pain my sickness whatever it is i can lay it down for the joy of the lord hallelujah thank you jesus See you. 
Say 
Lord. With tears rolling down my eyes, it's yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Can we lift him up? Hallelujah. Can we lift him up? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our yes. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said yes to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he was on that cross, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't come down. That was his yes to us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So my answer will be yes. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We bless God for this Sunday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Isn't he worthy? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a song, hallelujah, that says, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. That's our God that we're talking about. You are worthy of it all. Hallelujah, you are worthy of it all. Thank you, Lord, for from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do we really believe, hallelujah, that he's worthy of it all? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything flows from him. Everything belongs to him. Hallelujah. That's the word in our mouth. Hallelujah. That's the praise on our lips that belongs to our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He inhabits the praise of his people. So if we're going to praise him, hallelujah. We might as well lift our hands and do it now. Hallelujah. If we're going to hallelujah, if we're going to praise him, we might as well do it now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Worthy are you, Lord. Worthy are you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. And worthy is his name. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sand. The name of the Lord is worthy to die. Hallelujah. Glory, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to move out the way. Hallelujah. But I will in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can take your seats. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for this Sunday. Hallelujah. And we thank God, hallelujah, for just allowing us, hallelujah, to come back together 
One more time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are a couple of announcements um, just for your hearing, and I'm going to get through them really quick so that the word of God can come forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, we thank each and every one of you who have joined us this Sunday. I do see some some new faces, so we want to say praise the Lord to you, and welcome to Word of Life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that you feel welcome thus far in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, there's just a couple of housekeeping announcements. We do have our um, Monday night weekly prayer and intercession at 7 p.m., um, and we also have our interactive Bible study at 7, um, and that's on Tuesday. So Monday night is prayer and Tuesday night is Bible study, both of those at 7 o'clock. And we do have our Thursday night prayer call via Zoom at 8 p.m. if you would like to join that um, via the Zoom link in Jesus' name. So those are all of our weekly things that happen here at Word of Life. Hallelujah. Where we come and worship the Lord some more together. Um, so we want to say, we want to um, send a special Happy Mother's Day greeting to all of our beautiful mothers on today. Happy Mother's Day! Hallelujah. I know there's not a song for Mother's Day, but if we could use the birthday song, Happy Mother's Day to you. I would sing that to each of you. Happy Mother's Day to 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 you. how to sing that song correctly because I think I was messing up the words but God is good and happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you hallelujah you all have impacted my life personally in some way or another so I say um, God bless you and thank God for each and every one of you in Jesus name um, so we also have a couple other announcements May 20th at 2 p.m. there will be a baby shower here I'm um, at the church for sister Shiley and brother Christopher as they welcome their new baby Amen. Hallelujah. And that will be here at the church May 20th at 2 p.m. Um, we also have our Pastor Mac who will be preaching at Fellowship Church um, of Christ in Darlington, South Carolina. And that's on Sunday, May 28th at 5 p.m. Um, Pastor Mac will also be preaching in Augusta, Georgia on Saturday, June 3rd at 1.30 p.m. And our pastor will also be preaching in, <coughs> excuse me, in Islandston, South Carolina, on Saturday, June 17th at 7 p.m. Hallelujah. So our pastor is on the road, um, so we need to mark our calendars. Hallelujah. Um, to be in attendance for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, so our bus um, campaign is well underway. Um, our goal um, date is Sunday, June 25th. Um, so whatever pledges that you have made towards that goal, um, that date is June 25th. Um, and so we're well on our way to that in Jesus' name. So we thank you all for your, your faithfulness in giving um, unto that in Jesus' name. So we would also like to say our Solemn Assembly 2023 will be held July 14th through the 16th. Hallelujah. Here in Sumter, South Carolina. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the gathering of the saints one more time. So these are all of our announcements. We thank God for everything that's going on. Um, so just mark your calendars um, just to be up to date with everything that's going on. And it is tithing offering time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we can stand with our gifts. Hallelujah. Um, we all know there's a couple ways that you can give. You can give by way of Givelify. You can just download the app on your phone and down um, and search for Word of Life Church of Sumter. Um, you can give by way of Cash App, and that Cash App is dollar sign W O L Church Sumter. Um, and you can also give by mail or in, or in person. Um, so those are all of the ways that you can give. And as always, we thank you for your faithful giving to this ministry. And we pray that God continues to bless you and cause your cup to run over. So we can stand with our gifts. Our brothers have already made their way up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, as we give our tithes and offerings today, we commit our finances to you. Be in charge of our finances and use them for your purposes. May we be good stewards of all that you give us. We ask that we will live free of burdensome debt and where we have been unwise, bring restoration and give us guidance. 
Give us wisdom to handle money wisely and show us how to plan for the future. Help us to remember that all we have belongs to you and to be grateful for it. We pray that we will not be anxious about finances, but we will seek your kingdom first, knowing that as we do, we will have all that we need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, service is now in the hands of our brothers and our ushers on either side. God bless you all.
yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. My soul say yeah. 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 Through the storm, my soul say yeah. Through the rain, my soul say yeah. My soul say yeah. My soul say yeah. Through the heartache, my soul say yeah. And through the pain, my soul say yeah. 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 No matter what comes, my soul say yeah. No matter what goes, my soul say yeah. 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 No matter who goes, no matter who stays, my soul is planted. My feet is planted. I gotta run on. I gotta say yes. Can't give up now. Can't give up now. Can't give up now. I come too far to turn around now. I come too far. Straight to you. Got me doing all right. He healed my body. He told me to run on. He healed my body. He told me to run on. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Tell me who wouldn't serve a God like this? He'll pick you up. He'll turn you around. Yes, Lord. Somebody ought to pick your feet up and put them back down. Hey. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yeah. My soul say yeah. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My soul say yeah. My soul say yeah. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 My soul say yeah. Soul say yes in the house today. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Anybody soul say yes in the house today? I don't feel no waste time. Oh, glory, 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 glory. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's rejoice and be glad. My soul 
Somebody shout one more time. Yes, Lord. My soul say yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. There are going to be some things that come up in your life. It's going to threaten your yes. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. It's going to threaten your yes every now and then. It's going to tip your yes. It's going, it's going to seduce your yes. Glory to God. But your yes got to be so rooted down in your belly. Hallelujah. To the point, amen, hallelujah, where you can say, come what may. Come hell or high waters. My soul says yes, yes, yes to the Lord. Come on, clap your hands one more time to the Lord. We give God praise and we honor the Spirit of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is our King of kings and Lord of lords. And I love him today. That's why I say yes to him. Glory to God. I'm grateful for all that he has done for me. Amen. For how he saved me. Glory to God. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord that I took on his name in baptism. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I thank God for the departure from iniquity. Amen. I thank God for the remission and washing away of sin. For a holy lifestyle that the Lord, amen, uh, it makes possible for me to live. Amen. Through and by the Holy Ghost, who is our helper today, our comforter, 
Amen. He brings strength to us when we are weakened. Amen. And we give God praise. We honor, amen, all of our elders today. Thank God for Elder Redwood. Amen. His wife, Sister Redwood. Elder Miller today and his wife, Mother Miller, today. Amen. Thank God and praise God for Elder White in his absence today. Amen. His wife, Sister a White, in her absence today. In Jesus' name, they're visiting in Florence today with Mother White. Thank God for them in Jesus' name. Thank God for my wife, Sister Stephanie. Amen. And everybody in the respected places, our, our praise and worship team, thank God for our young people today. Amen. amen. Leading us in praise and worship. Thank the Lord. Amen. For our musicians today in Jesus' name. All of our brothers and sisters. Amen. It's good, so good to be in the house of the Lord. I want to thank God for my sister. Amen. Sister LaKendra. Amen. Brazy in the house of the Lord with us today. Amen. Amen. She is a, a member of this church. Amen. We claim her in Jesus' name. We thank God for her, amen, for being in the house of the Lord. And all of our mothers, let's give God praise for our mothers. I tell you, none of us will be here. Huh? Not near one of us <laughs> would be here if it had not been for a mother. So we ought to give God praise for a mother. Brought us into this world. Amen. We celebrate, amen, in Jesus' name. Amen. We have a amen treat today. Amen. For us, every Mother's Day, we have amen. A mother come, amen, and speak to our mothers. Encourage, strengthen, edify, build up. Amen. In Jesus' name. And we thank God for, amen, this woman of God who's coming before our front. But I, I got a mind to do, I got a mind to to do one thing, and I hope, I hope, amen, that I don't put this person on the spot, amen, Sister Talisa, Sister Talisa, <laughs> praise the Lord, how you doing, <laughs> you doing all right, if, if I actually do something, would you do something for me, with, by the help of the Lord, amen, <laughs> you try, amen, I'm not going to ask you to speak this day, this is <laughs> Amen. But I'm going to ask, I am going to ask you to render a selection for us today, if you would, if you don't mind. A selection, uh, a song. Would you do that? Would you do that? Before, before I did, Sister uh, Lorraine is coming. Amen. Amen. To, to speak to our, our, our mothers today in Jesus' name. Amen. But there's something about this sister, Sister Talisa, that I love. Yeah. I love and I appreciate. <laughs> Amen. I, I didn't, all right, this is my first time asking her, all right? So I normally would give people a heads up, but this is not a heads up today. But I want you to pray for her. Amen. I want you to pray for her. Amen. In Jesus' name, as she comes, amen, and render a song. Amen in Jesus' name. I want you to get behind her and pray for her. Amen in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You ready? Bless the Lord, everyone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you Praise don't mind, come, come, in, come this way, Sister, Sister Talisa. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord again, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's really good to be in the house of the Lord once again. Um, this morning, I didn't feel like I was going to come out. I had a rough week because I couldn't speak. And um, because of my sinus is draining very heavily. So, you know, God has been good. You know, now my voice, my mother was saying, your voice sounds much better than the start of the week. And I'm like, yeah, you know, thank God for that. And, um, you know, it's a surprise. Pastor asked me to sing a song <laughs> or to do a selection. Uh, I will, you know, while we were worshiping, the song that came to me was, I, you all probably know it, it's God is my everything. Um, I don't remember the name of the, the, it's a choir, you know, they say God is my everything. So, you know, I was hoping everyone will help me, Sister Stephanie, you know, it, since it's a choir song, you could help, help me with that one. But, you know, it just dropped in my spirit when you, when, when Pastor was saying my soul said yes. So, you know. You all can sing with me. God is 
to greet my king who is my everything the head of my life my God oh could I live without the God in my life oh could I live without Jesus I don't know I just could not live without him and I'm so happy today that he's my everything praise God praise God Hallelujah. Saints of God, if I tell you that I am not nervous, I'm lying. <laughs> but you know what? Hallelujah. You pray my strength. I'm not going to say anything more, but you pray my strength. Hallelujah. I want to also use this opportunity to greet my pastor, Pastor Choice D. Mark. Lady Mark. Hallelujah. Elders, Elder Miller and Mother Miller. Elder White is absent and Sister, Mil um, Sister White. My husband, Elder Redwood. Praise God. Hallelujah. The saints of the Most High God, I greet you in no other name but the saving name jesus christ he is our everything yes i am convinced that my god is our everything hallelujah but before i go to the the scripture i want to <laughs> confess <laughs> or to say something you know um a week ago when we were asked to the ladies to present in a Bible study. I kept silent. I kept silent. But before Mother Miller spoke in the group, the Holy Ghost was, you know, knocking on my heart to speak 
you know, about a particular woman of God in the Bible. But, you know, I was caught up. And I didn't want to commit myself at that time because I, I, I don't know if I would have gotten enough time to prepare myself. But God was actually preparing me for today, not knowing that it was today. I thought it was last week, Tuesday. <laughs> it is so sweet to have the Holy Ghost. Because this Holy Ghost that we have inside of us, we have to cherish it. It is there to nudge us. It is there to, you know, keep us in line. It is there to warn us. It is there to prepare us, <laughs> to protect us. You, you think of it. The Holy Ghost is real and it is active, active in our lives. Let it stay active in our lives. Could you turn your Bibles with me to 1 Samuel chapter, chapter God. All right, first Samuel, Samuel's chapter one, reading from verse fourteen to eighteen. I'll, I'll start at verse four. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina, his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Anna, he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Anna, but the Lord had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did, so year by year, when he went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And why eatest thou not? And why is thy heart grieved? Am not I better to thee than ten, men, ten sons? So Anna rose up after they had ate in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul. And prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me, and not for thine handmaid, sorry, and not forget thine handmaid, but wilt give unto, the, uh, unto thine handmaid a man child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken, my God? Put away thy wine from thee, mighty God. And Anna answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunken neither wine nor strong drink, but I have poured out my soul before the Lord. 
Come not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hither. And I'll skip over to the first verse in chapter 2 which says, And Anna prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. Praise his holy name. You may be seated at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I'm sure we all are familiar with the, the story about Anna. Oftentimes we would hear about this barren woman. Yes. Well, today we're going to talk a little about Hannah. Yes. And if I should use a topic for my presentation, I would want to, name, um, to highlight it as the value of motherhood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I want us to understand that motherhood is a ministry. And seeing that it is a ministry, we need to establish it with purpose. Hallelujah. Why do I need to enlist in this ministry, to be enlist, enlist, enlisted in this ministry? Well, can I say that it is ordained by God? This ministry, motherhood, is ordained by God. Later in this presentation, I will give you, you know, a better understanding why I made that, that statement. Now, being a part of this ministry, motherhood ministry, or any other ministry, you know, anybody who is a part of a ministry, we don't want to be a part of something that is not vibrant and flourishing. We want to know that it is up and running and it is as, you know, it's best. Hallelujah. Hence, we need to be purposeful in our ministry. We want to make sure it is taking off. It is where it ought to be. So we need to be purposeful in this ministry. We're not just going to be laid back. We're going to do what we need to do. Now, let us look at the Bible character, this well-known lady, a woman of God, Hannah. Yes, Hannah is one of two wives of Elkanah, a woman who was barren, mighty God, and she suffered silently in her predicament. She suffered. Out of this dilemma, she would go to the temple year after year and seek God's attention. She, she knew that this situation was a sensitive matter. So she would go to God and seek his attention. I believe Hannah knew Nee City. I knew, I believe Hannah really knew Nee City. She spent time on her knee, hallelujah, because she had a need. And just not a simple need, but a sensitive need. We, we can attest to that, ladies. We can attest to it. You know, oftentimes, you know, persons might come up, even young people, young, you know, when you're, you're young and you, they see you're, you know, getting up in age, person might come to you. What happened? You're not getting any, giving us any grandchildren or whatever. You know, so we know that this matter is sensitive. You know? Now, Anna knew that her needs can be met by getting in the presence of God. Yes. Hannah wanted to become purposeful in her ministry. She wanted to play the role of being a mother in her family. Hallelujah. She wanted to feel accomplished. She wanted to be seen. She, she didn't want to be seen as a failure in this ministry. Please bear in with me. 
I soon bring home the point to you. Now, let us look at her situation. I can only imagine how she was feeling, you know, having the experience of being true barren. Mighty God. She was ridiculed by other women and men. She was ridiculed. One such one was her opponent, Penina. Penina mocked her. He, she jeered her just because she was barren. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for Hannah. Hallelujah. It is because of her situation that many women of society can still hold their heads high. It is because of Anna's situation. Many of us can um, stand tall. I believe that this was the path that God chose for her to show her and others, including us, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Praise God. When we become a child of God, we have taken on the role of becoming mothers in Zion. Yes. And it is our duty to become pregnant with children of God. Remember, we are the bride of Christ. And if we are the bride, I'm sure our husband is going to need a child. So we have to make sure we go out there and become spiritual pregnant. Hallelujah. Bring the children in. Bring them in to their father. Hallelujah. As mothers in Zion, we have to activate our purpose. The purpose to nurture souls that are born in the kingdom of God. Our purpose as a spiritual mother can be acquired through modeling, demonstrating, or just simply living the life that is required by God. Being a biological or spiritual mother is of equal value. Being a biological or a spiritual mother is of equal value. None is more than the other. You will be rewarded for both. So don't worry if you didn't get to work in both ministries. But some of us, remember, some of us got one talent. And some got two. Some even got ten. So remember, you might only get one. So work in the ministry that you'll, you, you'll get. Now, if we should look at the 12th chapter of the book of Revelation and verse 2, just that verse. If you find it before me, please read it in the interest of time. Revelation 12. And verse 1, it says, no, it's not 1, verse 2. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Now, the process of delivery can be very painful in such that often time, time we hear mother saying, no, I'm not going back for another. But after a few weeks, or even months, <laughs> and even years, we forget about the travailing process. Hallelujah. And is now focusing on the joy of nurturing the innocent child. Saints of God, mothers, I want us to understand that motherhood allows us to spend time in the presence of God in order for us to be effective nurturers. It will bring a lot of pain 
and despair at times. But as mothers, we cannot throw in the towel. We can't quit in this ministry. We are built for this. God has us covered. We got this. Yes. Hannah had a partner who were very who was very supportive. He did what he could do to make Hannah happy and for her not to focus on her situation. You know, each time, each year that they had th their, their festival, he would give her a double portion in, in his giving. But little did he know <laughs> that gifts does not necessarily fill the emptiness that we, you know, we experience at times. He encouraged her by asking her some rhetorical questions. Why are you weeping? Why are you not eating? Why is your heart grieved? Why? You know, he wanted to, you know, encourage her, let her realize that, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Am I not better than ten sons? I mean, why would um, Elkanah ask Hannah such, you know, question? Why? Why, why did he want it to, you know, distract her? I guess he, he, he wanted her to feel comforted, you know, and to, to, you know, I guess that statement would sweep her off her, um, her feet. <laughs> but that was not the case. You know, I thought, you know, if I hear that, I mean, it would do something for me, you know. But this statement, um, it meant to blow Anna's mind and to get her back to, um, in, in herself. Anna had a wonderful cheerleader. For El um, Elkanai, Elkanah, sorry, had ma uh, made this statement, he must have made her happy and that she, um, she was sufficient for him as well. Now, as mothers, we do need our cheerleaders to support us, to encourage us, and to um, validate us. Believe it or not. When our hearts are grieving, hallelujah, when the cares and pressures of this life hits us, you know, we need the support with the kids, especially when they're not acting right. No mother is perfect. We might be super, um, superheroes, but our cheerleaders will and can make the balance in the wheel. So during the festival, or the festive period that Elkanah family had, Hannah saw the need to go to the temple and to seek the face of the Lord. Her soul was bitter. Why? She was barren. However, she envisioned a sense of persistence and purpose in the ministry of motherhood. She became persistent in achieving her purpose in the ministry. She was resolute in her mind and even in her action. Hannah realized that she was to use a tactic to pray because she believed she was ridiculed enough and was tired of it. I believe she would often speak to herself saying, I can't accept this. I can't accept that I'm barren. How could this be? She wanted to work in the ministry of motherhood. So Anna exercised her faith and drew close to God. I also believe that this wasn't the first time she was talking to God about her situation. However, this time, 
she was going to be tactful and not pray out, which was customary. She didn't want anyone, including the priest, Eli, to take her business out of out to tell others, including Penina, who was making a mockery of her situation. What Anna did was to pray in her heart and allow only her lips to move. She didn't want them to hear what she was saying when seeking God's attention. She had an unknown request. Oftentimes, we mothers have some unspoken request that we don't want anyone but God to know about. We have to take the alone time and seek God's face on math matters we would want him to fix or improve in our lives or our family lives. While Eli hurled his insult at Anna, she didn't retaliate. She humbly answered, no, I'm not drunk. It was because she prayed with such, such desperation. She prayed earnestly and fervently. Hannah needed growth and fruit in her ministry. Breakthrough comes when we are persistent and press to God in prayer. She did get her breakthrough. Mothers in Zion, we cannot remain satisfied or complacent in the kingdom of God. We have to live at Nee City. We have to be busy lifting up our children before God. We have to go and bring the lost to Christ. The men of God as well. We are known to be the virtuous woman. And as such, we have the right to display the qualities that describes us in the book of Proverbs 30, 31. That is God's expectation of us mothers in Zion. Hannah struck a deal with God during prayer. She asked and promised that when, she, when he answered her, she would dedicate her blessing back to him. Hannah trusted God. She knew the time was coming when he would remember her and give her the desire of her heart. Saints of God, mothers in Zion, have faith in God. Trust God in his timing. He will come through for you. I would encourage you to, to make a promise to God. Measure up to him. Strike a deal with him. If you strike deals, keep your end of the deal. For he surely won't break his promise. Promise to walk with him all the way. Don't make promises that you can't keep. Hannah knew that the promise she was making was not hard. He, it was simple. She wanted to be faithful to God. We can be faithful to God. It's not hard. All he's asking us to do is to commit ourselves to him. He knows we can do it. Hannah extolled the Lord with praise. The Almighty came through for Hannah. He blessed her womb with a man-child. Her heart rejoiced in the Lord. Her mouth Enlarge over her enemies. Her lips were glorifying God. She was thankful. How many of us can rejoice like Hannah today? You can rejoice like Hannah. I am rejoicing like Hannah. 
Get out of your comfort zone, mothers in Zion. Know that you are called for a purpose. We are powerful beings. The wind beneath our husband, our partner's wing. The wind beneath our children. Be the team player. Hallelujah. Be the bridge between the father and the children when they can't see eye to eye. Hannah's life was one that seemed helpless at the beginning. She didn't give up. She didn't play the pity party. She was resilient. Worth. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. She, she was resilient, worthy, and valuable. She didn't stop for the naysayers. We can be the next Hannah. We should move forward with purpose. Be persistent in prayer. Keep your promise and praise God always. You pray my strength in the Lord. Glory to God. Come on, let's give God praise. Can we stand to our feet? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise for... Hallelujah, Sister Redwood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful encouragement. Hallelujah. Word to our mothers. Hallelujah. Not only our mothers, amen, but I receive a word today. Hallelujah. Be persistent. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And before we, we, we move to the benediction, amen, we're going to, amen, go into a session of worship and prayer, just as, as uh, Hannah did, seek the face of the Lord. Amen. Sister Ray was said a lot of good things that is that 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 mothers go through. Amen. There's a lot of pressure that mothers have. Amen. A lot of responsibility. Amen. And the Lord knows who to make a mother. Amen. I look at my wife sometimes and I say, man, I don't know if I could do all that. I'm not, I'm not ordained to be in that ministry. <laughs> I'm not ordained to be in that ministry. And so we're going to call all those that are in that ministry to come forth. Amen. That are currently in that ministry. And then there are some that in the future will be in that ministry. There are some that are active in that ministry, even though they have not physically birthed a child. Sister Redwood said, amen, there's, there's two motherhoods, spiritual motherhood and the physical motherhood. And so we're going to call forth these mothers. Amen. Anybody else desire to be a mother, you can come. It's all right. There you go, sister LaKendra. you already a mother. <laughs> a good mother. Thank God for good mothers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And you guys can a little heavy on this side right here. Thank you, Jesus. I have no one to stand. I'm going to anoint
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. This is what we're going to do. Saints of God, I want you to stretch forth your hand. I want you to pray for these mothers. And mothers, I want you to unite right here. If you can grab hands or grab arms, however you want to do it. Let's connect. Connect all together. Sister Lorraine, come around. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, every now and then mothers need a, a push. I heard, I heard Sister Lorraine says they are the, the, the wind under the wings of husbands and children. But who, who supports them? And who brings the wind to help them to soar? This is, when, this is when they come together. Mothers in the ministry come together. So we're going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for your strength for these mothers. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for how you have anointed them, Lord God, to be mothers. You've given them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have given them a good ministry. You have blessed them. You have, oh God, strengthened them. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, to operate and to perform in this ministry. Father, we thank you right now that we cover them in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every work and plan of the enemy. Hallelujah. I want to taint and I want to destroy this ministry of motherhood. Father, for we realize that if it was not for mothers, none of us would be here today, God. And it's because of your plan, it's because of your purpose, in the name of Jesus, that you've equipped them, Lord God, to bring forth. You've equipped them, Lord God, to travail. You've equipped them, Lord God, oh God, to bring forth life, Lord. And we thank you in the name of Jesus. And even this ministry is under attack. And the enemy wants, oh God, to bring this ministry to naught. Oh God, but we stand in the name of Jesus. And God, we plead the name of Jesus over the ministry of motherhood, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that through ministry of motherhood, Lord God, there are prophets being born, missionaries being born, preachers being born, God, soul winners being born, God. We thank you through this ministry that souls are coming, souls are coming, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we're bringing these souls back unto you. Father, bless, oh God, every mother right now in the name of Jesus. Give them the strength, Lord God, to be mothers, to mother their children, God. Give them the wisdom, oh God, I pray. Give them the wisdom in the hard times. Give them the wisdom, Lord God, where there is no answer seemingly. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, God, will commune with them and that they will go and commune with you, oh God, when there is an answer that needs to be made. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you would, oh God, give them a knowing, Lord God. Give them wisdom. Give them understanding. Oh God, fill them up with the fruit of the Spirit even now, Lord Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will minister in their homes, Lord God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they will be, oh God, that Proverbs 31 woman, that virtuous woman, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, that their children will rise to call the blessed Lord. In the name of Jesus, that their husbands will call the blessed Lord. That they will be good, oh God, home keepers, Lord Jesus. Oh God, not tearing down their homes, but building their homes up, Lord Jesus. Being that support, God. Oh, God, that will bring forth a good family, that will bring forth a, a mighty family of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for them, Lord. We thank you for them, Lord Jesus. We can't thank you enough for them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, even for the time, oh, God, of rebuke, the time of chastisement. We give your name the praise because it all comes, oh, God, through you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for the love of mothers. We thank you for the love, Lord. We thank you for the love, Lord Jesus. In the physical families and in the family of God, we thank you for the love. We thank you for the examples. Thank you for the examples, Lord God, of holy women, holy mothers. In the name of Jesus, anoint them now from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord, to go even further. Don't let them give up. Don't let them be weary and well-doing. But help them know that in due season, that they're going to reap of their faith not. Oh, God, help them to turn towards you. Help them, Lord God, not to lean to their own understanding. Oh, God, but to acknowledge you in all their ways. 
I pray, God, that you would direct their path in the mighty name of Jesus. Say to the Lord, rebuke you. Now, I, I pray right now and I command you to take your hands off of their situations. Take your hands off, hallelujah, of everything that you may have your hand on now. We bind you. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for successful mothers. We thank you for mothers that are loved by children. We thank you, Lord God, for mothers that are loved by husbands. We thank you, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that you will restore everything that they lost. Everything that may have been taken away from them, restore to them. Restore to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that the enemy has taken away from them, restore unto them. Renew, revive, refresh. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift your name up. We pray blessings upon them, Lord God. Bless these mothers. Bless these mothers. Help them, Lord Jesus. In tough times, in hard times, in times where they seem all alone that there is no help. God, that the weight of motherhood seems so heavy. At certain times, I pray in the name of Jesus, that you will be that wind beneath their wings. Oh, God, lift them up. Let them not feel like a failure. Let them feel your love, Lord. Let them feel your approval. In the name of Jesus, we come against, oh God, hallelujah, low self-esteem. We come right now in the name of Jesus against depression. We come against anxiety. We come against right now in the name of Jesus that the enemy uses, oh God, to bring mothers down in their spirit. But we thank you right now for encouragement. We thank you, Lord God, for consolation. We thank you for the building up of mothers today. We thank you for the edification of mothers. We thank you for the grace that you have given unto them. Hallelujah. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you will bless them. In the name of Jesus, bless their finances, bless their minds, bless their bodies. Bless whatever they put their hands to do. For God, they, whatever they get, they are able to cultivate. Hallelujah. Whatever they are handed, they are able to cultivate. In the name of Jesus, they're able to create. God, we thank you. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray your blessings upon them. Bless them now in the name of Jesus. And for the next few moments, mothers, I want you to pray one for the other. You know, only you know what you go through. And so we pray for one another in the name of Jesus. Nobody else knows what you go through like you know. Nobody else knows the strength that you that you need to go through in the midnight hour. Nobody else knows like you. So I pray for you, my sister. I pray for you. Hallelujah. We honor you. That's it, mothers. Hallelujah. Come on, pray for one another. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Send strength right now. Send strength right now. Send strength right now. Send strength right now. Hallelujah. That's it. Send strength right now. That's it, women. That's it, mothers. Pray right now. Hallelujah. Somebody need this prayer right now. That's it. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Sister Lorraine. Mother Miller, Sister Keisha, I want you to stay. Sister Stephanie, I want you to stay right here. Just line up, turn around right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And every other woman right now, I want you to come. We're going to anoint you. We're going to let these mothers, hallelujah, pray right now. I want you to come this way. Every other mother, every other, every other woman. You might not be a mother. I'm going to anoint you in the name of Jesus Christ. And each one of these women of God is going to pray for you. Just take time with them in Jesus' name.
In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, our training. Leah. Glory to God. Come on, ladies. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Scarlett Jordan. And friend, I forgot your name. I've seen you before, right? You've been here before? Yes, come on. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, that's it, mothers. Pray for these women. Pray for these women. Pray for these young women. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus, move in their life, Lord. Move in their lives, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We bind the enemy right now on every side. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Come on, you're the head and not the tail. You're above only and not beneath. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for praying, mothers. Yeah, Jesus. That's it. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, yes. Healing is even happening now. Healing is happening now. Come on, healing, healing happens when mothers pray for children. Come on. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for spiritual mothers. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for spiritual mothers, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Let's look, let's love on these. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. That's it. That's it. This is how we do. This is how the kingdom of God operates. Come on. Hallelujah. We're strength for one another. 
We're strength for one another. We're strength for one another. We're strength for one another. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. We love you, we love you, we love you. I love you, you love me, we're all a part of God's body, stand with me, agree with me, we're all a part of God's body, it is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Say, I need you. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all
you. I pray for you. You pray for you me. Pray for me. I love you. I, love I need you. Hey. So Said I won't harm you. I won't harm you. With words from, with my, words mouth. from my mouth. I love you. I love Turn to somebody. I One more time. Turn to somebody. So Say I love you. I love you. I pray for you. Pray for me. You pray for me. I love you. I love you. Woo. I need you to. I will harm you. I will harm you. With words from my mouth. With words from my mouth. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I need you to survive. Say, I need you to survive. I need you to survive. I need you to survive. But I need you, I need you, I need you to survive. I need you to survive. I need you to survive. I need you, I need you to survive. I need you, I need you to survive. Me. You pray for me. I love you. I love you. Say, ready, ready. I 